Can you see this wobbly handle on the glass sliding door? That's no good. I'm going to show you how I fixed it. Alright, greetings. Welcome to my channel and to this video. We're going to be fixing this glass sliding door. The handle over the years has become quite wobbly, so what's up with that? Kids are now old enough to be able to close and open the door, so there's lots of yanking on it and pushing on it, and it endures quite a bit. So uh, you can see on the back here, there is no visible way to get. It's all seamless. There's no screws or anything that you can see. So logic holds that it will should be on the inside. Your glass door may look a little different, obviously. And before I get started here, welcome to the channel. Click the like button, subscribe if you're not a subscriber already, and share this channel with somebody. I do lots of home projects around the house, saving you time and money. All right, here we go. So right here on the inside with the door closed, well, you can keep it open, whatever, but we've got these little plugs, and we're going to take a flat tip screwdriver and very carefully, not aggressively because you will damage the ends of those little plugs, and they are cheap enough where you can just buy replacements if you do damage them. And I'll put links down below for all the supplies and tools that you will need for this job in the description. So check that out. But you can see here, not the greatest of shape, but I'm okay with it. I'm not going to buy new ones. But with those plugs removed, you can see we've got screw heads now, which we'll do in just a moment. But let me get the other plug out because there are two plugs and two screws that basically have, for whatever reason... Uh, backed off just a little bit and created a little bit of play and wobble in the handle. Well, I know the reason. I just told you. My kids are yanking on this several times a day, letting the dog in and out. And so, there we go. We'll put the screwdriver in there. And turn lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. And I do not recommend a power tool to do this because you want the control and precision of your hand. You can actually feel it turning just a little bit and that does the trick check it out I turned it not even a quarter of a turn and it tightened it up sucked it up right to the plastic and we just take those plugs and put them back again if you order new plugs you'll have to wait a couple of days or whatever for them to come but pretty easy job hopefully this helped you out thanks